morning friends! Thank you so much for joining me again. If you are new, I'm Laura and this is my channel, Classic Yet Frugal. Thank you for joining me. Today I will be doing another pregnancy update video, kind of. I want to talk to you about my pregnancy goals, what I want to see with this pregnancy, and um, just a little bit about my attitude viewing pregnancy and specifically this pregnancy for me. So if you are interested in that, please stay tuned. Before I get into the video, I need to show you, I forgot in my pregnancy announcement video to show you the bump and I suspect that um, I should have done that in the first one. So I will show you, I am currently 16 weeks. I will be about 17 and a bit weeks when I upload this video. So I do have a little bit of a bump. I feel like I'm showing a lot for being this early, but um, you know, such is life. So let's get into the topic of this video. Um, there's a few things that I would like to go over, and the first is, I guess, my attitude towards pregnancy, and this pregnancy in particular. This pregnancy is my fourth pregnancy. I already have one little girl, her name is Esther, she's now one and a half. Um, but I have had two miscarriages and I think that those miscarriages have shifted and altered my view on pregnancy a little bit um, and for the better, for the better, I am happy to say I do not want to live in fear that I could miscarry again, although miscarriages in the past obviously have changed how I look at this and it could happen I could lose this baby but I want to take my experiences and and make them good experiences going forward that's really a goal for me is to take the experiences that I have and make look at them understand them and, and take them forward in a positive way not in a negative way so, um, to give you a little bit of background, and if you're interested in knowing more about my miscarriages and all that, I'm very happy and open to talk about that. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'm, I'd be open to making a, a video or two videos about, um, I guess, my story. But briefly, to see, tell you what happened, my first pregnancy, I got pregnant, um, and it was going really, really well. We had a first ultrasound, like everything was really well. And then I miscarried at 13 or like 13 and a half weeks. I don't remember exactly. That was very difficult because I'd already been thinking about pregnancy. I'd been thinking about this baby. I'd been pregnant for a few months already. And so it was challenging. It was really, really difficult. But on one positive note, I have something to compare to. So I already had my first trimester, you know, that's the most difficult trimester. And so when I was following pregnancies, I've been able to look back and be like, well, this is similar, or this is easier, this is harder, etc. than my first pregnancy. So good things have come out of that as well. My second pregnancy was my pregnancy with Esther. Esther, the whole pregnancy was picture perfect. <laughs> I wasn't sick. I was really healthy. I was honestly a very happy pregnant person. <laughs> um, I didn't get headaches, I didn't, like, I didn't have anything. It was really wonderful. And I joked that, man, if this is being pregnant, I hope I can be pregnant forever. Like, this is great. I carried her to 41 plus 3, so she was 10 days overdue. And I gave birth to her at home with midwives and a doula and my husband was also present, and actually my sister as well, to take pictures and, and video and such. My third pregnancy, I miscarried probably around five weeks. I didn't actually realize I was pregnant until I miscarried and put the dots together and said, hmm, I've been nauseous. I can smell the neighbor's cologne when he's putting it on in the morning. <laughs> Not quite, but like I had like super good sense of smell for the last couple of weeks, hmm. and you know I'm late, and then I had a very heavy flow, 
So my body naturally miscarried that baby. Um, so although I did miscarry, I didn't experience pregnancy in the same way with that pregnancy. So, so all total though, this is my fourth pregnancy. Um, and you know, one of the things that I have decided and really made a goal for this pregnancy is to trust. To trust, firstly, that God, I am I'm, I'm a believer, I believe in Christ, and I believe in Jesus Christ, and um, I believe in God, and I believe that God, A, meant for this pregnancy to happen, it wasn't a mistake, he knew that I would get pregnant, he has a plan for this pregnancy, he has a plan for me, and a plan for this baby. And I also want to trust that he is taking care of me. He is taking care of my baby, and he is taking care of every single step. So those are two things in terms of trusting God that are really, really, really important to me. And something that after my last miscarriage, I became really anxious about getting pregnant again. I thought, oh, if I get pregnant again, will I lose the baby? Will I miscarry? What will happen? I don't want to miscarry again. You know, I had all of these fears and doubts. And a couple of months before I got pregnant, I was I was reading some I don't even remember what. <laughs> I was reading something. I don't remember if it was in my Bible or if it was like something totally different. But it was just talking about how the female body is created really to have babies. Obviously we can do many other things and it's not at all negative if you don't have children. However, our bodies are incredible. You think about m making life and pregnancy and birth and then afterwards breastfeeding and sustaining that life. Like, it's amazing. And I came to this realization that I had to let go of those fears. I couldn't sit around and go, oh, I might get pregnant and the baby might die. That's not healthy. That wasn't helpful. It wasn't helpful for getting pregnant and it is not helpful through the pregnancy. So my third goal is to trust that my body knows what it's doing. It knows how to take care of this life. It's growing a placenta. It's growing a baby and there's so many things going on. And just give myself the liberty to trust my body is tired, I trust that that's okay. okay. Everything's fine, I'm just gonna go lie down. If I'm feeling a little bit of pain, I'm gonna trust that this is part of the process. And I'm just, I, I wanna go a little bit more with the flow. Now that's not to say that if there are some medical concerns, especially as, as I go farther along, you, there are signs to watch for, that I wouldn't follow that up with my midwife or um, you know a specialist if needed. That's not what I'm saying, and I'm not encouraging that at all. But I don't want to be controlled by fear. I don't want to have anxiety. And so instead of trying to say, I'm not going to be anxious, I'm not going to be fearful, <laughs> it's like, don't think about the pink elephant. <laughs> of course, as soon as you say, I'm not going to be anxious, that, that's all I feel. Instead, I'm focusing on the trust. And so that's been really, really important to me, especially for the first bit. And I didn't realize how much I would have to think about trusting around 13 weeks. I found that very difficult with Esther, and I found it difficult again this time. I have a beautiful ultrasound of my first baby and, and, and a frame that my mom made into it, or made for it. And I would go past that picture, which to me is usually a beautiful memory, but when I was between kind of 12 and 14 weeks of pregnancy, I think, oh, I hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, what if this? Oh, what? No, no, I want to trust. I want to trust that this is okay. And even if I do lose the baby, even if something did happen, that's okay because it's in God's plan. And so that, that, is, that is personally for me, but I would also encourage you, if you're pregnant, if you're thinking about getting pregnant, yes, 
Miscarriage is always a possibility. But when we let it control what we're doing, that fear of that control, what we're doing, what we're thinking, what we're feeling, that becomes unhealthy. And so to, to counteract that, I'm really focusing on the opposite, whatever the opposite of my feeling is. So I'm feeling nervous, no, I'm going to feel confident today. And it's not always easy, especially with pregnancy, hormones, and emotions. It's not always easy, but it is worth it. And it's been a neat experience, this pregnancy, to, to, to pinpoint, okay, that is a negative fe feeling, that is a negative thought, and try to think of the opposite, and try to focus on that for the day, for the week, whatever it may be. Along the lines of trusting, I have made the choice with my midwife. And again, this is not the choice for everyone. I would highly recommend that you talk to your healthcare provider, if that's a midwife, a doctor, an OB. Make sure that they are in agreement. But I talked to my midwife and we both came to an agreement, and also my husband. That's important too. <laughs> that I would do less testing this time. So, um, for instance, I have not done the blood test for the STIs. I have no reason to have any STIs. I, I did test them the first time. I'm also um, going to be doing less ultrasounds. So I did not do the 12-week dating ultrasound. And I intend to do I think it's a 20 week ultrasound where they just do a general check of everything and um, also we'll find out gender at that point um, or hopefully if, if baby's not got his legs tucked up <laughs> um, but I'm just doing a few less tests and that's not to say that I'm not doing any but I'm doing less because I believe that there are some things that we can control and do things about, and there are other things that we cannot. And on the basis of that, I'm choosing which tests to do and which tests not to do. Um, I am with a midwife, which makes it a bit more flexible. She's more than willing to talk about the pros and the cons of each thing that we're doing and um, help me and my husband make a choice that's right for our family. And so because of that, because I've not gone for my 12-week ultrasound, we do not have a fixed due date. Um, we have calculated according to ovulation, which should be correct within a day or two, because I do know when I ovulate. Within a day or two, we have calculated the due date to be October 23rd. But my cycles are crazy. That is, that is a video for another day. <laughs> Talk about my hormones and my cycles and what I've been doing to help them. But um, because of that, it was difficult to decide exactly how to calculate the due date. So baby could come essentially from the beginning of September, anyway, anywhere to the mid-October. Baby could come within there. That would not be a huge problem. But again, this goes back to trusting my body. I don't believe that a due date means that baby shall come on October 23rd. No, baby will come when he or she is ready and when my body is ready. And of course, if I go really late, I will get an ultrasound or more to double check. Is fluid okay? Is everything okay? I'm not against those tests. But I don't want to be worrying and thinking about, oh, I'm late, oh, I'm early, oh. No, when baby's ready, baby will come. And so trusting, the whole process of trusting um, has affected my pregnancy from the beginning. And I know it's going to affect it right to the end, right, right till labor, right till birth. And in fact, for me, that even goes postpartum. Um, with Esther, I struggled to breastfeed. We did breastfeed successfully, but it was a difficult road. <laughs> it was worth it. It was great in many respects, but it was hard. And I'm trusting 
that regardless if this baby is easy or hard to breastfeed, easy or hard to care for, that I have um, internal instincts to care for this baby. My husband is a good father and we will be able to care for this baby. And that has given me an enormous sense of peace. And I really believe that that is an important aspect of pregnancy. When we just release a little bit, and we say, okay, it's okay. I am gonna be able to care for this baby. Maybe it's not gonna be easy. Maybe it's not gonna be fun every moment. In fact, I know it won't be. That's okay. Um, but this process, and it, it started before I was pregnant. It was, it's been a process for me to learn to have positive thoughts, positive feelings, and to trust. And so that is really my main goal for this pregnancy, is to trust more. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I just want to share that part of my heart, that part of this pregnancy. I think that a lot of women have anxiety or are nervous and that kind of thing during pregnancy, before and after <laughs> as well. And I don't think that's healthy. It's not always easy to change, but I want to share my story and just what's, what's been helping me for the last few months. It's been helping me to have more peace about it and to enjoy, enjoy this pregnancy. Pregnancy is, is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful time. And I find it sad that so many of us, myself included, struggle to enjoy pregnancy. So I want to share this with you guys. I hope this wasn't too long and too boring and all that, but, um, and I hope it's helpful. Please comment down below um, if it's helped you, if you've had a similar experience, I would love to know and to hear um, your experiences a little bit more. And also, um, if you want to hear other videos about, you know, um, my birth story, or even breastfeeding stories with Esther, many a story, no. Um, and also just miss my, a little bit more about my miscarriages in the past. You know, if you're interested in any of that, please let me know. I'd be, I'd be happy to share more. And if this video is in any way helpful or encouraging and you liked it, please click the like button. That really helps us out. And I hope to see you in my next video or in my next pregnancy update. Thanks. Bye-bye.